Blessings. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wear a bindi a lot, um, which is more for my my pineal gland. Um, but that's another topic. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Um, my name is Ramona Riley, aka the Vagina Lady, and owner of Cosmic Woman. Um, on Wednesdays we do something reproductive and tonight we will be focusing on periods and not just periods because I talk about periods a lot um, what makes tonight a little different is because I realize that number one a lot of women don't understand that they can have a one-day period um, or achieve to or have a two-day period um, and so bringing the awareness to that is one thing um, and of course, the other thing is then executing, you know, executing every woman, every woman would love to have a shorter period, you know, a less stressful period, a less heavy period. And so I want to get down into the nitty gritty because I don't want you to think, oh, one day period, is there like a pill that you can just take? No, it's not going to be about that. Uh, but it is more than more than possible. I had an 11 day period. I now have a two day period. Um, and I am not overly anal with certain things um, that, you know, I probably, you know, probably should not eat. Um, I don't do a lot of it, but I shouldn't, you know what I mean? Like sometimes the helper will cook certain type of flour, use certain flour, um, to make dumpling or something like that. And that's not healthy. You know what I mean? I know that has a lot of gluten, so I shouldn't eat it. Um, but I do eat those types of things every so often. Um, and I still have a two day period. Uh, so it comes back down to just understanding your body and knowing what to give it so that you can get what you want from it. Right. Simple as that. So, uh, usually, before uh, we start womb Wednesdays I do do prayer I'm um, welcome everyone who's coming in and um, I have not seen any comments if you put any there I apologize uh, I'd like to pray and then we can get started on how to achieve a one day period dear God most high we are so grateful and so thankful for life for breath Thankful for the unconditional love that we feel and know that you have for us. We ask you now to just continue to hold us, love us, and keep us close. Uh, protect our hearts, protect our minds. Allow us to remove any sorts of traumas, pain, um, or stress that is allowing us to not be the best versions of ourselves. Amen. Okay. All right. So welcome to all of those that are just joining. This is Womb Wednesdays and I am Ramona Riley, the Vagina Lady. So one day periods. Hmm. One day periods. Where do we start? How does that happen? What do you do? I hope that women are now here taking notes. There should be no woman or man, right? who is listening to this and not have a pen and a paper or another phone that you can just like put in a little note here or something like that, okay? So let's get down to it. First thing that we want to focus on if you want to have a period, now let's go through the different types of periods because everybody needs to understand that what you think is normal is not what is going on for everyone else. For some women, they are not having a period and they don't see a period, and they haven't seen a period in months, okay, some years. You have some that see a period every so often, and when they do see the period, the period just doesn't want to go away. It's like it wants to make up for all the time that it had been missing. You then have these other types of periods that, you know, um, they're heavy, and they're like clockwork, 
uh, but they're very heavy and they're very painful. And then you have some that are maybe not painful, but there's some nausea and there's some back pain that's related. And then you have some that the period is just heavy, 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 clots, clots, clots. I mean, you have all different types of periods. But when we talk about the healthy period, when we talk about the happy period, there are certain things we know that make a good period or a happy period or a healthy period. We know that clots are not a good thing. Okay, if you just had a baby, fine, great. I'm glad you're getting removing the clots and all of that. But if you're having clots every single month, why? Why is your uterine lining shedding like that? If you're having a foul smell when you have your period, if you have yeast infections after you have your period, if your period spots for five days and then the period comes down and then it spots again for another three days to end it out um any of these types of periods are going to be unhealthy periods so to start off the healing or the fixing of these unhealthy periods we're going to have to focus on detoxing detoxing simple detoxing okay how long do we detox? What do we use to detox? How often do we detox, right? These are all the questions that you would have and I would expect you to have. So when it comes to detoxing, there are many different types of ways that you can detox. It really just depends on your lifestyle, on your financial situation, on your time, all of these different things. So of course you have things like you can, you can detox by doing juicing, okay, which is taking your vegetables and your fruits and juicing them and using taking the liquid and just doing liquid okay between the juicing of the vegetables and the fruits and water and maybe coconut water that type of thing those are the things that you would do some people do it for seven days some people do it for 21 days some people do it for a month what i would suggest is if you are doing detoxing for the goal of changing your period, seven days and 21 days is not going to be enough. So to juice for three months, for a lot of people aren't realistic. Some people can't juice for two days, okay? Because to chew and to swallow just makes so much sense and to not do that just seems almost retarded. But Juicing is a great way to maybe start it or maybe to throw it in there somewhere. So, for example, I am on a diet right now, which I am having no carbs. I'm having no sugars. Um, the meats I'm only eating is fish. Um, I'm eating a little shrimp here and there as well. Um, and I'm not even doing fruit right now. And I'm doing vegetables. Okay. Starting this week, I introduced a little bit more fruits into my diet. Not much, but a little, right? Because I'm really trying to keep down that sugar. Next week, my plan is to do juicing for three days. And the juicing is going to include things like the actual juice, like cold press juices. It's going to include smoothies. It's going to include soups. Of course, just like broth kind of soups. Um coconut water and that type of thing that is what is good what i am going to do so i'm saying this to say if you're using juicing to help with the detoxing phase you can do it in portions you don't have to do it straight so you know you can do the juicing for three days and then you can probably just do your fruits like your cut up fruits or your smoothies or however you want to do your fruits and some veggies and maybe, you know, some fish or something like that. And then you can probably juice for another two days later on. And then so you can mix it up. It doesn't have to be the same thing all the time. It's your process. It's your journey. OK, so make it work for you. So apart from juicing, of course, we can also use things like charcoal. Charcoal is great for detoxing the body. Okay, great, great for pulling out toxins and, and, and all that type of thing. Herbs, of course, are great. And there are lots of different herbs. You have burdock root. You have many different types of herbs that you can use to detox the body in itself. And you can do that. You can do that for, I would say, 
I'd say you want to detox for, for like 90 days. It takes 90 days for the blood to circulate through the whole body and do all of that excitement. And so if it's going to, if it, if it, you can't do it for less than 90 days, okay, for sure, you don't want to. And then of course, once you've cleaned it, you want to then keep it, you know, a little clean, right? So you can also do tonics. Of course, there are a lot of cleanses and tonic like things that you can use. Be careful with them. A lot of times they can, you know, they can be a little harsh. So just watch your body, see how you feel, um, read the ingredients, look up the ingredients. Don't be afraid to do that. Okay. Um, it's your body. You need to know what's going in it, but detoxing is great. So we, so we want to think about detoxing the inside of our bodies, which is what we spoke about in terms of the herbs and the different types of tonics and the juicing and the charcoal and eating just fruits and vegetables or doing the juicing or whatever the case is. That is all great because, of course, we want to clean internally and that is what is important. OK, we want to make sure that especially if the period the way it's acting is a hormonal thing, which most times it is. We want to make sure that the liver is healthy. We want to make sure that the kidneys are healthy. We want to make sure that the uterus in itself is healthy, right? We want to make sure all of that. So we want to detox out all those organs that can, you know, pull in and hold the waste um, or the toxins. So when it comes to the internal, as I said, that's one thing. The other thing that we want to look at is the other ways that we can detox because there are other ways, right? Um, there are ways that you can soak in your tub and detox or soak your feet and detox. Remember, your palms and the palms of your feet are the largest organs that you have, the largest. So you can get a lot of healing from hair and from your feet, okay? Your skin is the... Your palms are the largest pores. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. Your palms and your feet are the largest pores. Your skin is your largest organ, right? So use the skin to be able to detox the body. You can do dry brushing. You know what I mean? You can do soaks with Epsom salt and white vinegar. You can do um, pink Himalayan salt. You can, I mean, there are just so many things that you can do. You can go to a spa. Even just exercising is amazing detoxing. And that is why I tell my clients all the time, we got to get you exercising. Even if it's just two days a week, we got to. Because when you sweat, it really helps the process to make the whole reproductive system and all your body work better. It helps with circulation. It helps with detoxing. So when the body is detoxing well, when circulation is happening well, you're going to find out or circulation, your, your circulation is healthy. You're going to find that your periods are going to be a little bit better than someone who's not. It's going to be better. They're hands down. So detoxing inside, yes, also detoxing outside. Okay. So if, as I said, let me just mention it again. Um, if you want to do a salt like Epsom salt, uh, you want to do a lot of Epsom salt, though. You want to do like, a, if it's, it's a, if you're doing a tub, uh, you want to do like a pound of Epsom salt and like a half gallon of white vinegar. Make sure the water is really, really, really hot, and then um, and then just submerge yourself in it and just sit in it, right? Uh, so you have that going on. You can also, of course, do that with just your feet if you don't have a tub, and you can just get a bowl, a basin, or something, and do that. Um, in the basin, put your feet in so that you can, um, you can detox that way. Um, you can also do the dry brushing. And I, as I said, and dry brushing, you would use a like natural brush, bristle brush or a loofer and you would brush up. Okay. So you brush up your legs towards your heart. You'd brush up your, your brush up your body, brush up, brush up, brush up your arms, brush. You just brush everywhere. Right. Um, you can Google that. You can find it anywhere. Um, you can look on on Cosmic Woman's some one of the IGs <laughs> have it right. But um, dry brushing is also really great. Another one is um castor oil treatment. Okay, and if there are any one of my clients that are on this live right now, I know that they have or they have had 
castor oil treatment on their treatment plan. Castor oil treatment is really great for detoxing and it detoxes so much. And the rate at what it detoxes is amazing too. So you need a heating pad or a hot water bottle for the castor oil treatment. You want cold pressed organic castor oil. Okay, so we're not talking about black castor oil no no can't use with this uh, you need a cotton flannel or muslin cloth uh, that you're going to use and of course your heating pad or a hot water bottle and you are going to do this and you're going to do this as often as you can you can do this twice a week you can do this four times a week you can do this five times a week okay it's really important to know that you can detox your body and all you got to do is lie the heck down. Like you just have to lie down. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go out of your way. I mean, it's simple and you feel great. Anyone that has done it will tell you that they feel lighter. They feel relaxed. It feels good. Okay. So, ooh. So, uh, that is definitely an option in terms of the detoxing. Now, apart from detoxing, when it comes to having a one day period, we then want to get into the hormonal balance and the hormonal balance is going to be important because a lot of times the reasons why we have these heavy periods or the reason why we have these long periods um, is because there is some hormonal issue or imbalance. So detoxing, of course, helps with the hormonal imbalances. Okay, because toxins and waste a lot of times will create even more hormonal excitement, right? Uh, when dealing with the hormones, again, we're going to focus a lot on things like the liver. And so if we're focusing on the liver, then we're going to want to strengthen the liver. We're going to want to cleanse the liver. We're going to want to strengthen the liver, <laughs> right? Um, we're definitely going to want to get into certain types of vitamins. Uh, you always want to make sure that you are on vitamins, no matter what it is, no matter your age, okay, no matter your race, no matter your your age, your whatever. You want to definitely be on a vitamin. So if you have a five-year-old, your five-year-old should be on a vitamin. If you are 33, you should be on a vitamin for females, for you know that age group. If you are 55, you should be on a vitamin for 55-year-olds and also not just 55-year-olds, but your sex. If you're a man, you need certain things that a man needs. If you're a woman, you need certain things that a woman needs, okay? So you definitely want to be on a vitamin. A vitamin, a multivitamin is going to help to balance the hormones. It's giving you more vitamins and minerals that you need. Vitamin B6, B12, iron, magnesium, the list goes on. Okay, so doing so having um, a multivitamin, female multivitamin is going to help. Of course, we want a plant based female vitamin, right? Of course, we want that. Um, we want to make sure it's gluten free, of course. Uh, so that is definitely something you want to look into. Read your instructions, read your instructions. Of course, Cosmic Woman does have a female vitamin, we call it Feminine Divine. Um, and it's really great, really sweet, but really great. Um, uh, so that is always an option if someone's interested in that. But I don't care necessarily what vitamin it is. Get a female vitamin that has no fillers, that has no foolishness, plant-based, um, and take that, right? Now, depending on what your hormone issues are, you might need a little bit of something else. So let's just say you suffer from PCOS. I would say, okay, well then let's also get you on vitamin B, I mean vitamin D3. So even though you're still taking the female vitamins, I also want you on D3. Um, and I'll also probably put you on extra vitamin C. Okay. So female, um, female multivitamin for sure you want to be on, but then depending on what hormones, what's going on, what condition you might have, then you might want to add more supplements or vitamins to that, okay? Um, now, apart from hormonal balance and balancing the hormones, right, and making sure the, the vitamins and the minerals and the liver don't have no extra whole heap of excess of estrogen and male hormones and all these things, right? Um, the next thing is looking into what we're using when we have our periods okay what about fibroids 
Um, well, with fibroids, um, with fibroids, we definitely have to focus on the liver. Okay, the estrogen is like all up in the liver, um, so we definitely want to work on that. Um, what I would also say too with fibroids is, I mean, you gotta change your diet. You gotta change your diet. You gotta change your diet. Okay, the sugars. The chicken, the beef, the pork, the soy, the dairy, it's got to go. And of course, you can transition, okay? But it's just, it really has to go. You really have to take your liquor time and get rid of that. You don't want to keep just changing your diet alone. We'll do so much when it comes to the fibroids, okay? Much less you being on a female vitamin. Much less if you have cleansed, okay? Much, and I mean, and you can use all these different ways for cleansing, right? Uh, what I would also suggest is what are we using on or during our menstrual cycle? Are we using pads? Are we using tampons? Are we using diva cups? What are we using? Are we using cloth pads? What are we using? What are they made of? What is it toxic? Is it not toxic? We want to look on this as well because I promise you ladies, if you change your pads that you're using right now, right now, the majority of you, okay? If you change those pads and I give you some different pads, your period will cut in at least two days, if not three. And then if I give you a vaginal steam on top of that, it's going to cut down another day too. And you're going to go from a seven-day period to a four-day period and you're going to be like, what the hell? Okay, I'm telling you, change your pads, change your tampons, use something that is not toxic. So cloth pads are an option. And some people might listen to me right now and be like, cloth pad, so what that mean? Like I have to go wash the pad? No, no, my girl, I'm not of that. And that's fine because it's not for everyone. That's why there are so many options. So everybody kind of can choose something and be happy with it. So the cloth is there. It's good. It can sit in your underwear good. It have the snaps that you snap for your wings. Good to go. Okay. That's one option. Other option if you're doing pads is also natural pads. Now, why do we say natural pads? So the majority of the pads that you guys use, I'm not going to call any brands, okay? But we know the brands, okay? The majority of them have what we call chlorine bleach. Chlorine bleach. They have pesticides. They have plastic. Okay, and some of them even have fragrance in them. So just the pad, just what's made and put in the pad is actually making you bleed so much more. It's creating so much more issues down there between the yeast infections, between the length of the period, between the smell of the period. So changing your pads or the type of tampon you, tampons you use are very important. Very, very, very important. So natural pads, if you guys need some, hit me up, link me, let me know. No matter where you are, Jamaica, US, Canada, Dubai, we got you, okay? So natural pads, you want to do that. If you are a tampon, and when I say pads, of course, I mean tab pads and liners of course guys okay all of it the other thing is tampons now i don't know some women don't use tampons they don't and that's fine and you have some that use tampons sometimes sometimes they use pads it just depends on what they're doing what they're wearing how what flow they're on and you have some that only use tampons and that's it tampons the normal tampons have the same kind of crap that's are in the pads Okay, so natural tampons would be a great, great option. We definitely can help you with that. Um, you can source that from us, from Cosmic Woman, if that is something um, that you are interested in. Okay, so changing your pads, changing your tampons, great option. Another option actually um, that you can use is the Diva Cup. And the Diva Cup um, is definitely... A great option too but again it's not for everyone it is a 
healthy type of plastic. It doesn't have BPA, it doesn't have phthalates. Um, and you fold it and you insert it in your vagina and you release it um, and it catches the blood. It is really convenient. You don't have to change it all the time. Um, you don't have to change it when you pee like how you'd have to with a tampon. Uh, it's really great, but again, it's not for everyone. So you guys can look into that as an option too. I do not recommend the Yoni Pearl. I do not, I do not, I do not, I do not, I do not. Um, woman's touch is great natural pad. Yes, for sure. Woman's touch is available. Um, you guys can definitely get that. You can find that at most pharmacies, um, most supermarkets for sure. 100%. Um, you can do that. Um, you have some people that depending on their periods, you have some people that when they have their periods, they really want to feel dry. And that was my thing. Um, and that's why I use a particular type of pad um before i started using natural pads because i knew that when i leak and it goes down it's going to be dry you know i don't feel the wettiness up onto like my lips and my clitoris and like lad you know what i mean and then you and then like ugh, ugh, i can't manage right so i know that most natural pads don't work for me because it doesn't do that Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't make me, it doesn't keep me fresh. It doesn't keep it light. It doesn't keep me dry. So that's just me personally, right? Some people don't care. They just want to put on a pad and they will change the pad as often as they need to or whatever, that type of thing. So shop around, do your thing. Sometimes it's just about um, price. And if so, then you go with the ones that, of course, as long as they're natural and everything like that, go for that. And some go, for, and if it is that you need to go for, you know, what's going to make you more comfortable, especially because you're already on your period, like you want to be the most comfortable you can, uh, then, of course, you can look into others as well. So please, check them out, look into them. Um, they are available, okay? Um... Okay, so the Yoni Pearls. Okay, so the Yoni Pearls, I don't recommend them because um, I, think that, I think that they're too strong. I think that they do too... It removes, it, 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 it removes too much. Um, there are some women that, you know, they can use it and they won't have an issue after. Um, but for a lot of women, they have issues after. And I have had a lot of women that have come to me after using them or calling me while they're using it and asking me how do they use it this is the, the, they're itching and they're this and they're that and i'm just kind of just like i don't know you, you didn't buy it for me <laughs> like why are you why are you dming me asking me how to use yoni pearls like come on now right uh so for me i just think that number one it's strong i think it's i don't know how clean it is um i don't think that they're instructing the women on how to use it properly um, and so I, no, I don't use it. I don't sell it. Um, there are just certain things that you guys see online, um, that I would just never use. And you realize that I don't post those things. I don't talk about those things. I don't comment on them. Um, and I am not trying to, um, sway anyone from using another person's product. So I don't want to, you know, um, have negative things to say. But personally, me, Cosmic Woman, um, we are not about, I mean, about the pearls. Now, there are times when I do something called a herbal tampon, but that is literally made to order. That is literally for the woman. That has to be customized, has to be customized. Um, whereas a vaginal steam does not have to be customized as much because it's not going inside the vagina. It's the steam going inside the vagina. Um, when we're talking about a herbal tampon that's going inside the vagina, staying there, going inside. Um, and I mean, I don't know how comfortable I am about the string that is hanging out of your vagina for 72 hours and you have to pee and the string is still there. And I'm not glad. I'm not like, I'm not know. I'm not know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Um, but to each his own. 
Uh, now, moving on from the pads and the tampons, um, welcome everyone that is just tuning in. Um, we are talking about one day periods and how to achieve them, right? Yay, everybody wants a one day period. So we went into detoxing, of course. We spoke a little bit about hormonal balancing and the fact that we're going to have to get the hormonal hormones balanced um, to definitely achieve a much shorter period. Uh, we then went into pads and our tampons and what we use during that sanitary time, right? Um, because, of course, we want to make sure that what we're using is clean and it's healthy and it's not toxic and that type of thing and the majority of the pads and tampons are toxic and we do not want to put that on our bodies so we definitely want to look out for that because if you do change your pads and change them to natural pads you will definitely realize that your period does change um not sure necessarily about the heaviness but definitely the length of the period will change for sure uh, next thing guys is diet okay and we have to talk about diet we have to talk about the diet right because we have to be honest if we eat certain types of things our periods are going to be certain types of ways because it is throwing off our hormones so we have to look into that okay we have to look into that so yes we detox the body now right so we're detoxing and um internally and we're detoxing externally and doing our dry brushing and all kind of niceness right um and then after now we are balancing the hormones and taking our vitamins and our minerals and that kind of thing and strengthening the liver and then we're using our pads and our this and all those kind of things but when it comes to the diet now, that just roll up everything into a wonderful, beautiful package, okay? Now, changing the diet can be difficult because if I say to you, don't eat, don't eat chicken, don't eat beef, don't eat pork, don't eat soy, don't eat veggie chunks or tofu, don't eat, if I just say don't eat these things, and these are the things that like, well then Ramona, if I mustn't eat all of these things, what the hell do I eat? Like, what do I eat? And that is what we have to talk about. The reason why we don't want to do the chicken and the beef is really just one main reason. And the main reason is what? The hormones. The hormones, the hormones, the hormones. It's the same thing with the dairy. We're putting this hormone in our body not the hormone that our body makes right but an animal and that was in that was put in them you know what i mean so i mean it's just it's just it's just it's just not a good situation so we want to make sure that our meats do not have hormones even down to our fish watch your fish guys watch where you're buying your fish make sure that it is wild caught you have to do wild caught you can't do farm raised when you're buying your fish. I don't care where you are, which part of the world when you buy your fish. Is this wild caught or is this farm raised? And they're going to have to tell you. And then you know if it's wild caught, then have it. If it's farm raised, then run. Okay? Because that again has the hormones. Okay? And antibiotics and all kind of other things, right? Which is just not good and throws off our bodies in themselves. So changing those meats, lessening those types of meats. You can eat other meats. You can eat goat. You can eat the fish that, of course, is wild caught. Um, you can do seafood. Watch it a little bit, okay? Um, watch your fish too, what type of fish you're having. You know, if it's snap on, whatever. Those are a little bit better. They don't have as much metal and that kind of thing. So that's better. Um... You can eat lamb, you can eat sheep, them thing that you can have those things, right? Um, because those those don't have the hormones in them most times. Okay, most times that's not the case. Now, of course, if you were to cut all meat all together, you're going to find that, of course, you know, your body is going to be, you know, reacting in a much better way. Um, but we have to be realistic, and most people can't just get up tomorrow and just say, yo, them just not gonna eat no meat. Because you have to prepare for that when you're eating no meat. And then if you're not eating no meat, what are you eating? Because you have to make sure it's healthy. You can't eat like Irish potato every day. Like Irish potato is not even good for you, you know. So you want to definitely watch that. Um, 
in terms of inflammations a lot of time the reason why periods are much longer and are more painful is because there's a lot of inflammation so you know, making sure that you're including ginger and turmeric in your daily routine is great. Making sure that the type of onion that you use is not white onion, not yellow onion, but the purple onion, like my dress, okay? That's the type of onion you want to use. That in itself, changing that and putting that in your diet is going to help you with your period. It's going to make it better, all right? So look into that as well. Um, now, if you want to, you want to give yourself a little challenge what you could do is let's say for four days let's say four days before your period you eat no meat no meat during your period you eat no meat if you do that you are going to realize that your periods in itself are better even though you're eating other meat even though you're eating meats for the rest of the month OK, because you have to remember that the less stress you put on your digestive system, you're going to realize that your reproductive system works better. If your digestive system has to break down this food and this pork and this beef and all of these things and breaking it down, it has to work so hard that it, the, it can't even help the reproductive system. The reproductive system will work hard. The digestive system will work hard. And it's just too much. It's too much. If the reproductive system is busy doing the whole period aspect, then please allow the digestive system to just bill and chill. Or chill and bill. Right? Don't put so much on there. Don't stress it out so much. We have to think about the body and how the body works. And be gentle. Be gentle. This is all we got. Be gentle. What is wrong with Irish potato? Okay, so Irish potato creates inflammation and acid and all kind of excitement, okay? It's not good for us. We don't, we don't want to eat it. Sweet potato is a much better option, for sure. Irish potato is not, no. Broccoli, no. Cauliflower, no. Even carrot, no. Mm -hmm. Unless your carrot mm -hmm. is like purple and empty, mm -hmm. right? What else do you have? Um... The onions, right? The yellow onion and the white onion, no. Okay, remove those things from your diet. Those things are not healthy. They tell you that, but they're not. Okay, they're very GMO. All right, guys, so please look into that. Now, exercise, I mentioned this very short, but I'm going to mention it again. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Cabbage, cabbage is no nutritional value. Cabbage. You know, sorry. <laughs> um, so exercise, exercise, exercise. It's important, okay? It's important for us to exercise. So twice a week, do something. Sweat and need something, okay? Twice a week. Go walking, go running. Make sure you put on your sneakers. Do, some, do something on YouTube. Put on some music and dance. Yes, broccoli and carrots. Yes. Do something, okay? It's going to help the process with the detoxing. It's going to help the process with the circulation. It's going to help the process with, you know, um, your nerves and all of that. Because all of that can be affected too sometimes with the period. Okay. So after going through all of these things, we can also look at things like the products and the different things that we can use. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm stressing you out. Um, so for at Cosmic Woman, when we talk about um, a healthier period and a happier period, um, there are some products that stand out. And of course, it just really depends on what's going on. If the woman is having a period every month um, and how it is, if a woman is not having a period every month, of course, she's going to need other things that a woman who has a period every month would not need. Um, so I can't really go into everything because then I would be sitting down here all day just talking about products in itself, right? Um, but let me just go over a few. Um, number one, we have the vaginal, okay, which is a vaginal steam. And the vaginal steam helps a lot to shorten the period. It helps a lot to make the period healthy and happy, 
okay it helps a lot with the clots the color of the blood the smell of the blood just it helps a lot so a vaginal steam or as we call it a cosmic woman a vaginal would be great please watch your vaginals and vaginal steams when you buy them okay please look at the herbs look the herbs up online before you buy it ask them what is in it look them up okay because you want to make sure that there is nothing in there that is going to throw off your ph you're already using heat and sometimes heat can throw off ph in itself so we don't want to have all these other herbs that are either too strong or you know some thing that's going to throw off your 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 ph balance okay so vaginal steams great uh cosmic woman has a herb blend called womb tea and the womb tea is great for helping the period it has things like chamomile it has um red raspberry red clover dandelion nettle um peppermint um moringa right it has all these different things um that really help the period to be just a lot more calmer a lot shorter mm -hmm. a lot more balanced not no extra long spotting at the beginning or extra long spotting at the end it really really helps um so the womb tea is definitely available you guys can definitely try that um no when it comes to the hormonal tea that is also something that you can use and you can mix the hormonal tea with the womb tea um some women some of my clients like the teas individually because to them you know they like that individual taste some of my clients are like yo my girl we can't drink so much tea you know you like you want me to drink like 10 cup of tea a day and do that so they mix the two teas together which is quite fine okay they do not have a horrible taste trust me it's not bitter it's not bad so check that out okay now i i hope everybody got a little bit of an understanding of really how to get one step closer to a one day period okay one step closer and trust me as you start doing these things and tackling these things you are going to see the difference and see how your period is changing and you're going to feel so empowered because you're going to be like yes i did that i did that and you did do that okay as i tell you i remember when i had an 11 day period and it was clotty and it was painful and it was a hot mess and i used to have to put hot water in my bathtub and sit in there and soak and some of the clots would come out while i'm in there soaking and as i come out i have to go on the bed with the heating pad and it was just madness like i'm not having i'm not i'm not having a miscarriage why am i dying and the reason why is because my periods were just unhealthy my periods my reproductive system was just pop my hormones were horrible they were all over the place and because they were all over the place and because my periods were horrible why am i surprised that i have a reproductive condition why am i now surprised that i need to have a hysterectomy at 29 come on your reproductive system for years has been telling you that it pop for years my reproductive system was showing me it was showing me signs symptoms situations you know having to go to hospital and all kind of excitement and i just kept on going because this was just my life and this is just what happens and periods always sucked and who has a great period anyway and you just keep marching along right until the day comes when your periods are not like that and then you look back and you're like oh you remember that guy that you're dating and you love him off you love him off and he ends up leaving you and you're like so vexed because you're like no 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 but you've been the asshole i should be leaving you and then you see him 10 years later or 20 years later or two years later and you look and you're like, oh my God, how could I have ever been attracted to him? He's so not even attractive. Yes, that is how it's going to be like when you look back at your period, back in the day and be like, my girl, that never cute. Mm -mm. Don't do that. I'm so glad I'm not that. I'm so glad I'm not there. And it just feels great you don't have to position yourself around your period why i know people that are like all right well i know my period come in this time so i can't do this or i can't go here and i can't go there and i can't wear this and i can't you can't wear this i am wearing white i am wearing black i am wearing shorts i am wearing swimsuit i am wearing anything i want to wear during my period why not 
why not so i don't know think about it guys think about it think about think about what you want think about how you want to feel think about what you deserve because from my periods have gotten better I in my own self have gotten better. I'm a happier person. I'm a better mother. I'm a better wife. I'm a better everything. I'm a better everything. I'm a better me. Because I can function. Because I'm not moody and miserable. Because I'm not throwing off the people that I love the most. Because I'm on my period. Or my period soon come. Or my period just done. And I'm just still miserable. Because I'm still having cramps. Or I'm still uncomfortable. It's insane. Totally insane. Steam is amazing. I need to be more consistent using it. Yes, do the steam. Do the steam on the last day of your period when you just have like that brown spot here, spot there. That's when you want to steam. That's when you want to steam. Yes, we do ship to the US. We do. So we can definitely do that for you. For sure. Just send us a DM. Um, if you want anything, if you are in the US or anywhere else in the world, you can go on our website, www.cosmicwoman.com. Just go there um, and you can order whatever and we'll ship it to you. Same, sis. My flow is extremely light. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't have to be all this heavy, heavy, heavy pop down thing. Mm -hmm. Like, no. Do you feel any crumbs once in a while, though? Um... I don't know if I, f I don't know. I mean, I guess you could call it a cramp, but it's not a cramp. It's just, it's literally like a, I feel like a contraction, like a squeeze and a contraction and like a release. Um, and maybe like a shift and then like a contraction again, and then maybe like a shift and then nothing. And then nothing. Um, I don't get bloating, uh, which I used to have all the time. Uh, what I've found of lately, though, which is why I've had actually decided to change back my diet um, and really cut down all those other meats that I started to reintroduce back into my diet, which is evidence, um, is that I, 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 I don't get bloated in my abdomen, but I, it seems like I retain more water or something. So I little, I look a little, I look, I look a little bit more thicker. Um, I would say, um, like right now, <laughs> for example. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I don't, I don't really go through that. Um, and with ovulation, I feel that as well. I feel, I feel the, the turning, um, when I'm, when I'm ovulating, uh, but that is not painful either. That's just, oh, I feel, I feel that I feel something's going on. I feel the release. I feel, you know, that type of thing. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't suffer from that anymore. Praise Jesus. Yes, I definitely do consultations. Um, I always recommend consultations, actually, instead of just buying products, um, especially if you're trying to heal something um, or if you have a real goal in mind. So, yes, we do phone consultations. We do in-person consultations. We do treatments. We do a lot of things. So just check out the Instagram um, or send us a DM and let us know what you think you might be interested in. And we can kind of help you navigate to what might be best for you. What can I buy to steam? Okay, so you can get the steam from us. Um, right now, Cosmic Woman is doing a new type of steam. We're trying to change it up a little bit because everybody's just doing steam, steam, steams. Um, so we, of course, are doing a little, a little different thing. Um, which actually, it's not that it's not that different for me because for the past, I'd say for the past two and a half, maybe three years, uh, maybe a little bit more, I have actually been using oils to steam with um, and not using the herbs as much. Um, I like that. I like the type of moisture that it brings um, to my vagina. I really like it. Um, so I have actually created a vaginal, a facial oil blend. And so that is what we have been doing more and promoting more um, so the clients can try it. Um, so you can de definitely get that from us. Uh, if you're ordering a uh, steam from us, we will give you everything you need. All you have to do is buy your water. Of course, it has to be purified water, spring water, healthy water, something like that. Okay, something like that. Can be pipe water, cannot be. And when you're going somewhere to steam, guys, please ask them what type of water it is that they're steaming and what type of herbs that is, ladies, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would prefer if you're booking a consultation to send it through the DM. Um, 
we're still trying to figure that out a little bit. Um, it looks like sometimes it's almost like the schedule shifts and then it gives people a time that is not actually available and we don't want to stress you guys out. So maybe if you send us a DM if you want to or if you're in Jamaica, send us a WhatsApp um, at 406-2764. Blah, 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 blah. 406-2764. Um, and you can um, definitely set up your consultation and that type of thing. Does the hormonal tea help with PCOS? Yes, it does. It definitely, definitely does. What veggies do I recommend? Well, we have a food list. Um, if you are interested in the food list, you can send a message to the Jamaica number 8764062764. Two seven six four, and we can send you the food list through WhatsApp. So WhatsApp us, um, and we can send that to you. It will have all different veggies, all different type of fruits, all different type of herbs, all different type of seasoning, all different type of all salts, sugars, all kind of stuff that are a better option. I live in the U.S. Ordered last week. Got my tea yesterday. Awesome. Awesome. Well, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Did you receive my message? Um, I am not sure. Um, I have not been by my phone. I have been doing a lot of shooting today. Um, so I have not been by my phone. And please, if anybody, um, if any of my clients are trying to reach me and cannot reach me, please, um, just send an email to me, please. Um, so I can give you the new number. Okay, please send me an email if you're trying to reach me and you have not been able to reach me. Okay, that phone is definitely like almost like kaput. Um, and so I can't even see it on the screen or anything. So I do apologize about that. Do you drink the tea every day or before your period? Every day. So if it's the womb tea, twice a day, every day. If it's the hormonal tea, twice a day, every day. I do in the morning and in the night. Or just in the morning and then I'll do another tea at night. You know what I mean? So it really... It really just depends. And please ignore my peppermint pizza, pizza branch. Mm -hmm. I started mixing the herbs from your vaginal steam with oils. Is that okay? Yes, that is quite fine. That's quite fine. Just make sure the herbs are good, you know, and that kind of thing. But yes, for sure. That's more than okay. Okay, so, okay, so in terms of, okay, so somebody, okay, so in terms of the vaginal steam, since I was talking about that, let me just go back to that for a second. In terms of the vaginal steam, right, the oil, the vaginal steam oils, um, it is an oil blend. All the oils that are made from it, you can actually swallow, okay? They're really good A-grade essential oils. You cannot use essential oil where you can go buy for $1,000 and them thing that no, that is not the type of oil, okay? This is like... The cold pressed organic version of the oil of the plant itself in an oil form, right? You put six drops of the oil into your bowl. You put your boiling water on top of it. You sit down and the steam goes up your vagina. Okay. It's really, really great. It's really, really, it feels really juicy. I agree. I agree. Okay, guys. So if we're talking about all these pills, right? Um, these painkillers and all of these different things. Okay, so if your pain, if your period is overly painful, then I completely understand taking these things. But I need you to understand that you have to look at your liver and these things are going to affect your liver as time goes on. Okay, so going on magnesium would be great if you're having crazy painful periods. And when I say magnesium, I mean like, like, like a thousand milligrams a day. Okay, if you're having painful periods, really helps, really, really helps. The number, um, 876-406-2764. Okay, I will, I will, Nikki. Um, the name of the oil is the Vachal Oil Blend. Vachal Oil Blend. Okay. Can the oil be rubbed on the outer section of your vagina too? Um, it can, but I don't think it's necessary. If you want to rub oil on your outer, on your vagina or whatever, use some coconut oil, use some shea butter, use some avocado oil. Use, I mean, you don't necessarily need to use that. Okay. All right, guys. So. 
just to wrap up because we're going to close out now <laughs> remember this whole one day period or a shorter period is a reality if we do things like detox the body and cleanse our blood and cleanse our liver and do these types of things you're going to find that our periods can start to become better not to mention if we start helping to balance the hormones and doing things for the hormones okay and then changing our pads and our tampons that makes a difference as well then we add in the diet and the diet and how to how to incorporate things that are healthier how to transition from the things that have the hormones in them and slowly remove mm -hmm. them from the diet okay um so of course that includes the dairy it includes the beef it includes the pork the chicken the soy okay the tofu the veggie chunks all of that okay uh exercise very very important as i said that as i said before and if you are looking for ways to start to fix this um and it is that you cannot do a consultation at the moment i suggest you get in a vaginal steam also the womb tea you can get the red raspberry if you want to but i think the womb tea has a little bit more oomph um and then also you can get the hormonal tea and you can definitely help you can definitely use these to help you achieve a shorter period okay guys so Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you are not following the Vagina Lady, please do so, okay, on IG. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel, Cosmic Woman. Follow that. Um, and look out for the things that we have going on. Um, we have gift certificates. So anybody want um, a consultation or products or anything like that for Christmas, um, you can always tell the person or tell people, hey, Get, get me get me a, a gift certificate from Cosmic Woman, right? So that's available. Um, of mm -hmm. course, Yoni Toning classes, pelvic strengthening classes are available still this month. Um, I believe it's next week. Um, we're not doing anything at the end end like we usually do. So next week, Yoni Toning, which is vaginal toning, which is squeeze and release and inhale and exhale. Um, that is definitely next week. And the pelvic strengthening class, which is for men. And that is about strengthening their penis and their groin area. Area, um, so that of course they can be better performers and of course the yoni toning is so that the woman can be a better performer as well and of course there are health benefits let's keep it real okay um, I think that's a little I think that's it that's going on um, in terms of next week um, look out for pum pum 101 we are starting back in January guys I know I know you guys are going to love it and have been loving it those who have missed it please check out the ig check out our youtube channel it is there it is hilarious madness um, and we have a good time and i think the people that watch also have a really really great time so look out for that if you guys have any questions about anything please reach out to us dm whatsapp email the options are there please reach out to us Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in on this Wednesday. I will see you soon. Have a great, great rest of the day. Um, the classes are, the male class is free. This is the last free male class. Um, and the female class is 8 US, 1000 Jamaican. Okay, um, email is cosmicwoman at gmail. Okay, cosmicwoman at gmail.com. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Love and light to all of you. See you soon. Be good. And if you can't be good, at least be safe. All right, guys. Bye.